Okay, I think we're basically ready to go. More or less. Uh, is my volume completely off? It is not. Let me swap this over. Let me get my phone going. We got this. Alright. Got everything set up and ready to go. Uh, just before I started the stream, I did compare libraries with someone else. So, I can go buy the Dark Soul, uh, the Dark Chips for the Red Sun Navvies. See? When you compare a library with someone, especially when they have 100% completion, you could just see everything. And it's listed in green. So that way you have an idea of what you're missing. But... Yeah. Anyway. And I can just go buy these chips now. Uh, last time. Uh, I am going to... Money grind. That's what I was doing. Synchron, uh, I want untrap. Gonna do a money run. Because we just be... We just got Gutsman SP, and now I need to gather more money so I can buy another lock enemy. So we're just going to do a money run. We're going to go to Undernet 5? I think that's the plan. I should also try to get some program advances now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe we'll do that too before uh, going after... Uh, Spark Man, I believe, is the next one I would be going after. Okay, is it over here? No, it is not. This early bit of the stream is just, just kind of... Get back in the groove, I guess. That's kind of why I did the money grinding for now, just to kind of get back into it. Kind of. But yeah, uh... Oh no, I can't run, okay. We're gonna go up here. That way I can reflect. And now can I run? I think I only got one green mystery data there. Nothing there. Yeah, maybe after we do this money run, I'll go to like... I could probably just go into like the doghouse or something. That would probably be better and then just start grinding for program advances that I can do right now. I just didn't because I've been focus on getting through the plot. And I kind of forgot about some of them. This is not good. Can I... Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna go with Guardian. I'll at least get rid of this guy. Now we just got the boomerang. Where's the green mystery data? Not up here. That's for sure. I should probably go to Black Earth, because I can definitely get, if I go to Black Earth, I can definitely get Bug Fragments. It almost feels like I have a better shot 
I'm getting bug fragments if I go there. But I think I should just go to area five. I don't know. Area grab M, not what I need. Too bad there's no area grab star. There doesn't seem to be flame line. Molly, what are you doing? You being weird? You being weird? get the kill. Yeah, I won't be able to get the kill. Even with Guardian. Like, the boomerang would destroy the green mystery data. If I had times to attack, sure. I would have needed way more attack pluses for that to work. Good thing I checked it here first. 3,000 Zenny. Okay, I have exactly enough for one lock enemy. But I'm gonna need a lot more Zenny than that. Considering I still need to buy programs and among other things. Oh, where's the, where's the green? Oh, please let me run. Thank you. Huh. Where's the green? Oh, well. Let's see. Hole. Not, I don't need that. I need money. Or bug fragments. That works, too. But I've got to have money. So where's the green? There's the other one. Untrap, we got Zenny. Perfect. Oh, hey, look, it's Junk Man. I wasn't wanting to fight you, but here we are. Um... Let's use up my healing. I gotta use up something. Four, five, six. Okay, he does that six times. Um. I've taken too many hits, that's for sure. Uh, hmm, do I use this? Nah, we'll just use my Super Vulcan. Or, you know, I just die. That works too. You know, dying works. I already know that's a whole chip, so I don't need to go grab it. I need a better way to deal with, with to deal with them. Or maybe I just didn't get a good chip layout. You know, I'm not fully in the groove yet. You know. Yeah, I want my Zenny. Let's see. Nope, not yet. I know I should be fighting, that way I get potentially more Zenny, but you know, it's just faster to run and then open green mystery data. 
I think, yeah, we're gonna go to area... We're gonna go to area five. I'm not gonna go to Black Earth. But I'm grabbing this green while I'm here. I don't remember this formation. There we go. Come Guardian. Hit them both. And reflect. I only got a little bit of health back, but hey. Something different. Oh, look. Mini Bomb. <laughs> uh... Definitely what I need, clearly. Okay. There is a chance I'll run into Shade Man, so that's gonna be fun. Oh, I could have grabbed that while I was down there. If only I saw it. Alright. Not running back there. Okay, uh, at least I know where the other one is. A single bug fragment, we'll take it. At least with bug fragments, we could just kind of get whatever we want. Uh, I think we want over here, then straight down. There we go. I think I remember something with Shade Man. Whenever he turns into a bat, he won't be on the same row that you shot him in. He'll always go to the another row. The problem is if you go shoot him in the middle, there's could be a bat on both the other rows. But if you stay from either at the top row or the bottom row, uh I think every time he'll just pop in the middle. So I think that's how you n you can figure it out. I'm like remembering that. And I think that's the case. It's going fine. Uh, we're just gathering a few zenny. We found Junkman and then died, so that was fun. I compared a libra uh, library, so now I can buy the dark soul chips for the red sun navvies so that's something i'm just doing a little bit of money grinding so that we can buy a lock enemy and then go after spark man how's it going on your end hawkhorn dog Oh, there's a green. There we go. And... Ow. Oh, lame. Oh, I didn't grab this? Extra zenny. Sweet. No, I, I left it there on purpose. You know, grab it when I absolutely need it. Eventually, I might need these just to buy them out, but I need the money somewhere. Say, so different patterns bosses have. Did you learn those, or did you remember a guy? No, I, dude, I played this a lot. I just remember, I just memorized the patterns. But these guys when playing games unless you're stuck. Uh, no, like, uh, I, I'm just remembering Shade Man's patterns, and I'm remembering some of these other patterns, and some of it's just like, oh, I'm recognizing this pattern sort of thing, and during the gameplay. I have not looked up, like, any, like, boss strategies for Battle Network, if that's what you're asking. Okay. So, how much... Yeah. So, I have plenty of money to buy a lock enemy. Can I buy it from here? Yes. We're going to have to do more runs, though. Alright. While we're here, let's just do some program advances that I clearly 
should have been doing a while ago. Okay, we gotta do the M cannon and heat spread. We're just gonna do a few of these, you know? E, F, G, and then we'll throw in heat shots. We'll do both of these. Been listening to Apollo 4 photography videos. Interesting. Oh, wow, that was fast. B, C, and D. Heat spread. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, I saw the new Godzilla vs. Kong yesterday. It was a movie. <laughs> it's, it's a movie that's not even two hours long, and it still felt too long. Granted... Uh, I was already kind of just irritated, like, after stream yesterday, just kind of was in that, oh no, heat spread, I got heat spread, and so, because I was already kind of just irritated, it got in my own head, the audience within the theater was kind of uh, slightly obnoxious, so I was kind of already annoyed, so I can't properly tell you, like, hey, you could cut 10 minutes or 20 and so it's like, I could just tell you that it was just a little bit too long. It's goofy as so. hell. It's a Godzilla versus Kong movie, and Godzilla doesn't really do much of anything. He's just kind of there. At least we have Godzilla minus one, you know. That makes up for it. Because that's a good movie. Right. These. Um, I don't have those. I don't have these. And I don't... Ooh. Do I have Flame Line? Okay, I can, I can set up Flame Line. I'm going to need to look up codes. And where to find them. So, before Kong uses... A yeah, that was... <laughs> that was funny. Uh, he was being attacked by, like, three other giant Kongs, plus the tiny orangutan guy. And the tiny orangutan one jumped him. And he just grabs him and flames him around. Starts smacking him against the other uh, giant Kongs. It's hilarious. That was funny. I forgot about that. No, that was funny. Okay, gotta just gotta use up some of this. So yeah, uh, majority of the movie, Godzilla. Uh, there's like this psychic frequency or something, and the whole plot is just like trying to figure out like what what is this frequency sort of thing. Let's go find out. And like Godzilla's reaction to this is just like, I'm just gonna power up now. I don't know what this is. But I'm gonna power up. <laughs> okay, F, G, and H. Fl flame cross. Let's see. All right, that's not bad. Oh, I should have grabbed pit hockey. I'm gonna go in here. Um, I need one more M cannon. Yeah, let's get rid of my air hockeys. I need one more M cannon. Okay, I can get rid of a lot of this right here. Yeah, God's, and also Godzilla uses the Roman Colosseum as a dog bed. I didn't know I needed to see that, but I guess I needed to see that. Okay. E, F, and G. Giga Cannon 3. I didn't time it right, but oh well. Okay. 
So these are the wide shots that I can do. Okay. Because it was basically cuckoo if <laughs> that university powers up just enough to clobber the next one. Yeah, so, like, normally Godzilla's just, like, fighting off all other, like, giant monsters, right? That's ca just kind of what he's doing. And Kong's just kind of living in, like, the center of the earth. Just kind of doing his own thing. Okay, I can at least do twin thing. Wait. F, G... H. Okay. Uh, so that's why they don't fight each other, right? But once this psychic frequency starts activating, you know, Godzilla goes to, like, power up. But what he does is, like, there's this other titan that uh, I guess it's called Tiamat. It's, like, the sea creature that's, like, guarding, like, this power source for Godzilla <laughs> to just power up. So Godzilla just goes to this giant monster unprompted murders this giant monster be like okay i'm taking this power source now this is mine it's actually kind of funny godzilla's just kind of doing his own thing okay i don't have air hockey wow i only have one type of air hockey too is that is this all i can do oh boomerang um okay s Right, uh, S, T, U. Let me take a look. And I already set half beast fang in here. Okay, we'll start with that. Apparently, like, there was, like, this giant, like, I uh, ice block. And this ice block has, like, absorb the sun's radiation or something and godzilla is just like okay this is my power source now i'm gonna charge up i'm gonna kill the monster guarding it i'm gonna go into this iceberg and just sleep for a little bit and absorb all this energy and this is just kind of what godzilla is doing throughout most of the movie it's mostly a Kong movie. Honestly, you can more or less take Godzilla out of this movie and not much would actually change. He ultimately doesn't do that much except show up for the final fight. S, T, and U. Pit Ring 3. Godzilla Minus One was still the better movie. That, that is a good film. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got all these done. Time Bomb, right. Okay, first, I want to swap one of these back to uh, this. Time bombs. Where are we going? Big hammer, big boy, big boy bomb. Oh, I only have two time bombs? Okay. I'm gonna have to figure out where the. There's currently Godzilla DC crossover. Godzilla's just kind of beating up Super. <laughs> what? Did Godzilla absorb Kryptonite as. Uh, Krypton kryptonite energy or something and that's how he's winning because that's the only way I could see it that's the only way I could see it working and then there was poison Pharaoh uh, I know that requires uh on cost. So I know it re requires Anubis, Poison Pharaoh. And look, you get a little reference to Pharaoh Man in the background. We can't reference Shadow Man or 
Or is there kind of a silhouette of Shadow Man there? It's kind of hard to tell. But there's a definitely a reference to Pharaoh Man right there. Anyway. Um. Okay. It has to be A chips, right? Most likely. I think, you know what, I might just pull this up. Godzilla is just kind of attacking the alpha of the world. Superman is the alpha of the world. Oh, Godzilla is just like, I need to fight the strongest being here. Is Godzilla just Goku? It's just like, I must fight the strongest being here. And just happens to be Superman. Alright, I'm gonna look up what I need to use. Okay, I wouldn't have guessed. Alright. Poison Pharaoh. I'm looking in the wrong section. At least I think I am. Let me look very quick. Okay. Hole... I think it's another mega chip. Yep. Dark line. I can only carry five mega chips. Fine, be that way. Dark line and Anubis. Okay. And I could throw in Muramasa. And we can set up Bodyguard. Actually, I should probably have that in my folder anyway. Uh, let's get rid of... I need to get rid of this. I should have them. should have everything. Anti-damage and anti-navi. I have not set that up yet. Okay. Alright. Got some program advances ready to go. Oh, and we can do the last one, too. Alright. He does knock out Superman with atomic breath. It's a funny, silly comic. Despite the book's attempt to be serious and grounded. Hmm. Um. Okay, we have two setups for... for that. I just gotta use fast gauge and get rid of some chips. Okay, so the doghouse is actually not a bad spot to... Work on program advances. There's holes in the ground to block most of their attacks. Uh, let's just get. I just need to get rid of some of this. So I know Superman can be damaged by magical attacks. Is. Is, base, is basically is the atomic breath like super effective against Superman? <laughs> no, not, that's not right. Alright. Because we need hole and dark line in Anubis. Right, I'm guessing DC's just doing their own thing, right? They're not really collaborating with Toho for a lot of story stuff, right? It's just like, eh, Godzilla's doing fighting Superman now. Shooting concentrated radiation. Actually, yeah, is Superman just weak to radiation? Is that something that, that he's weak to? And here we go, Bodyguard! 100 damage. I need to keep that in my folder. Honestly, bodyguard or pit hockey will save me. Okay. Number soul. And we'll get rid of some of these. Yeah, now I'm thinking about it. I think Superman, I think, can be weakened by radiation. So I guess 
the atomic breath would probably work on him, right? Okay, let's get rid of all this. And there's no harm in getting rid of that right now. Uh, Alright. Let's see. We have two of these. Now let's get rid of these right here. He becomes weaker, but not kryptonite weak. Okay. Sometimes he's weak to radiation, but sometimes he's not. Comic rock it says rules don't apply unless the story needs to rule. Yeah. You really wish they were consistent, weren't they? <laughs> okay. Um, what can I get rid of? Uh, yeah, we'll just get rid of Duo. If I go Wood Soul, I could get rid of more chips this way. Okay. Hole, Dark Line, Anubis. Program Advance, Poison Pharaoh. Yeah, get out of here. That was fast. Okay, I could probably take Poison Pharaoh out of my folder. I do not see myself using that. I will probably keep Bodyguard, though. Oh, I took out Guardian. Actually, wait, can we do the... Can we do the last one? Actually, I think we can. Hold on. I think we can do this final one. Uh, let me look. Uh, yeah? Okay. I think I can make this work. Get rid of Anubis. Dark line. Bug chain. Base. Just whatever your base version is. Can I throw in Gunsoul? No, not yet. Not yet. We're keeping these. I can get rid of this. Um. But we'll keep it for now. I, I'm going to rearrange my folder a little later, anyway. And with Number Soul, I can get more chips. Okay. I can get rid of a lot of... Hmm. Now, let's get rid of the two air hockeys. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Okay. I just gotta get rid of something. Do that. Alright, last turn. No, not fully set up yet. But let's get rid of Let's get up let's get rid of the gun souls. Okay. Now let's get rid of boomerangs, because I could get rid of two. I can get rid of 
air hockey and hole. Two out of three for that. Let's get rid of my side bamboo. Okay. Well, you made just in time. Dark line. Bug chain. Base. Dark Neo, or I guess in Japan is Dark Messiah Neo. Dark Messiah is back. But, oh. I guess we need hole or something. Never mind. At least we. Oh no, I think you need to actually be evil or something. So it's not gonna work. Either way. F, G, H. Twin Fang. Beast Fang 3. I remember using Beast Fang. Alright. I have made 18. I can't do any of those. I can't do these two. Can't do these two. Nope. 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 Time Bomb, nope. Alright. I've done all the program advances I currently can do. So I'm gonna set my folder back up. I am going to swap Dio back in. Yeah, I think now I'm remembering you either need to set up hole or you need to be evil to actually do that program advance. Oh well. Uh, which requires you to use e uh, dark chips, which means you lose HP, so not worth it. Okay. Uh... Give it a dark line. We'll go back there. We're keeping this. Gotta get rid of bug chain. I think I'll just put guardian back in. Sadly, like, every attack is, like, 200 damage now, so. There we go. I want to, I want to freaking use bodyguard. Alright, let's see. I need to get rid of this. I want my wide shots back in. And... Actually, why not just make it all... make four wide shots? That way, they're all the same code. Everything back to normal. More or less. Actually, do I have a different HP 200? One that matches? Hmm. I have two H's. That works. Sadly, I think two M's would work better. Especially with the anti-damage bodyguard stuff. Alright. Make a save. Alright. You know what? I'm going to check Higsby's shop. Because we have compared libraries, I can use the chip order. And now I can actually just buy these if I need to. And of course, it's... Like, everything's gonna be a lot of money. Whoops, I didn't. Actually, I should check. Okay, I don't need any of those. Chip order. These are the Blue Moon secret chips. Which maybe I'll try to get legit, but I have the option to just buy them. Honestly, okay, so number ball is like the main reason you might want to consider using a dark chip a single time. But I still think you're better off not doing that. If only there was a way to get your HP back.
fix the Fallout 4 problem, and I messed around too much with the game, and now I'm basically OP for the beginning of the game. <laughs> Two of the mods have every item in the game, and I'm not touching one of them. Yeah, uh, that's not really fun if you could just grab every item. I mean, stuff like that is like god modes. It's like, yeah, sure. Uh, that's fun for a little bit, but after a while. Just like, eh. I've had my five minutes of fun. Let's just play the game normally or do some sort of challenge. Okay, so the darks, these Dark Soul chips that I need to buy, that's a lot of money. That's two lock enemies, but I'm gonna have to buy them. And even though I can buy what I'm missing here, I'm still better off gathering them myself. I'm just, at this point, I just want to see the pricing because it's going to bug me that's not there. Okay. Is there anything missing? Program advanced wise. I could buy this. Wide Shot 3S. Okay, that will give me a program advanced. I should money grant for that. The only one makes it so you don't have to scavenge for junk anymore. Still have to. Oh, well, so you can max out weapons, but I don't have to be one of those hoarders anymore. So... I'm guessing junk is used to power up weapons. But there's a mod to where you don't have to sc scavenge for junk. So... What's the point, then? Okay, so I could probably get two burger advances right here. I'm gonna have to do more money grinding. Oh, probably one right here, too. Let me sand, magnet bolt. I think we could get most of them here. Bug bomb. Oh, we could get air hockey at the very least. Air hockey, too, not so much. I mean, we still need it, but... Side bamboo, white... Web, no, Mocha Rush, Circle Gun, Time Bomb, wait, oh, okay, wrong Time Bomb, I think there's a shop that actually has the other Time Bomb, and I think I know where it is, oh, it's H, not M, dang it, we could buy another Recover 300, actually, that wouldn't be the worst idea, to buy another one of these, so that way I have to Recover 300s. Here, grab ass. Uh, you spend more money by doing the chip order than, say... Uh, this is... I th You could buy this one. A Meta Gel K in Undernet 5. And it's way less money. In Undernet 5. So, I would only use this if you know for a fact you need, like, a certain chip, and you can't... And you basically have to, uh, fight viruses, and you don't know if you're gonna get it. Okay. Different codes for some of these. I'll change C, I... I think you buy that one, too, at Undernet 5. All right. So, I, I could get some more program advances done if I do some money grinding. Let's go after Sparkman. And then I'm going to have to do another money grinding session anyway. Oh, the message just kind of deleted itself. That's weird. I hate when stuff like that happens. Did you just say the wrong thing? Is Twitch being like, no, no, no. You say, you said the one word that you're not allowed to say. Even though we're, uh, even though context, it doesn't matter. A sneak run. Yeah. 
I think we're just gonna run back and forth here because I do want to go to Undernet. I have to do more money runs, so... A lot of this is just gonna be mostly money runs so I can get lock enemies. And here's Sparkman with a green coloration. So we're gonna start with Number Soul Fast Gauge and I can get rid of a lot of chips. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. All right, got rid of a decent amount there. Let's go with, sadly, like, Guardian's good in damage-wise, but, like, it doesn't pair up well. I want to get rid of chips. So we're going to do this. Oh, I messed that up. I'm just going to use Invis again. No, not yet. I could just use Duo. And I think that will be better. Considering I got the plus 10. No more, uh, no bodyguard. Not yet. All right. But with Trick's power, ah, oh, dang, I messed up. And he teleports. That's the annoying part. Oh, it's a... Okay, I hit him there. Ah, uh, that would have been good. Yeah, just normal spark man. Okay. <coughs> Lock enemy. Save. Alright. Time to find Sparkman again. Because we need to get a better time. We need to get his SP chip. I could get a I could get rid of a lot of stuff right here. I don't need to fuse. It's not going to help me. Yes! I did get a counter. Oh, if I... I could get 800 damage right now. If I just not use Number Soul. I think that's the better option. Dang it. Alright. 800 damage. Yeah, that was worth it. I think getting hit was not a smart idea, but... Let's see. Oh, uh, well. Duo it is. With the plus 40. There we go. No. I got hit too many times. I got hit too many times. So I can't... I'm just resetting it. Molly, what are you doing? She's kind of making a bed for herself, so that's what I'm hearing. Alright. Again, I could get rid of a lot of stuff. This is why I make them all like you, Chips. Yes. 
Oh. I'm getting hit way too many times. You know what? I already know I'm getting hit too many times. Reset that. I am looking for either pet hockey or bodyguard. Fast gauge. No, no number soul yet. Let's get rid of... Oh, no. Uh, let's get rid of healing. I can easily dodge that, but we'll just end this. U, V, W. Uh, junk is used to upgrade weapons, armor, build stuff, and fix things. Okay, I had a feeling that's what it does, but what mod did you do to change that so if you have it to where you don't gather junk anymore how do you upgrade your stuff okay hockey three that not in the middle but good enough oh come on fine number soul I really gotta time that better. I got hit once. However, I think we'll be okay. Let's see how this goes. With invis. Ah, uh, no. Uh, I did not time that well. Okay. And here's Bodyguard. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Yeah. Got hit once. So. Yeah, I failed. <laughs> <laughs> you fit you get hit once you fail <laughs> all right let's try that again okay let's do that fast gauge invis Nope. Getting hit once is not going to help me. At this point, we're probably just going to be looking for bodyguard. I knew Sparkman was kind of was going to be annoying. At least we start with number soul. Why doesn't that reach? Like all the way. Oh, here we go. Program advance, bodyguard. Okay. And this? Oh. Uh, some of those attacks did miss. However. Try to set up pile driver again. Oh, I got it. And I tried. Power of Sun didn't really help much. Just one more hit will do. Invis? Got him with the boomerang. With a time of 17, we got Sparkman SP. 
What? How much damage are we talking? 160. Alright. And now you know what time it is. It's time to money grind again. So you know the drill. Go to Yumland and go from Yumland all the way to Undernet 5. Untrap. Isn't this fun? Why is lock enemy so expensive? Get more zenny. And hopefully we'll just gather enough money to buy, like, a chip that I need for a... You know, a, a chip for, uh, like, program advances and stuff. Maybe I should try to get a few wins here and there. That way I could get money. You see, we got to have money. Perfect. Aluminum material mod. The name's a bit deceiving. Basically, if you go to the workbench and do edit settlement, you could go to resources and place a shipment of 9K of every building material in the game. Okay, so you just don't have to... You just get every material, basically. Kind of takes, like, the grinding out of it, doesn't it? Granted, I don't know, like, how much, like, junk grinding you basically need to do to gather everything. So I don't know how tedious it is. here. One bug fragment. There's not one down there. Yeah, I better save that. Need to keep the bug frags. Not one there. And there's the green. Sand ring. Who would have guessed? I see. At least you've, like, played the game before, so you're just making a second playthrough a little bit faster. And playing through the game once, that, like, like that would be kind of dull. Yeah. It's kind of like, oh, I'm gonna play Battle Network, but I'm gonna start off with 99 of every chip. You're like, well, where's the fun in that? <laughs> uh, I mean... To start the game off with Bodyguard could be funny, but that only goes so far, you know. Or Pit Hockey. Fine, if I'm not going to be able to run, I'm just going to reflect everything. Might as well go Wood Soul and heal up. Go ahead, keep attacking me. It's so gonna work. There you go. Well, at least I got a little bit of Zenny. Just a little bit. I think it is faster to use this and then go down here. And I saw the other green.
Let's run. And I can't run. Because even though Mega Man has the most HP, it's not good enough. There we go. Reflect is too good. More Zenny. Still gotta go out and get the weapons to question. And die because you underestimate enemies. I mean, yeah, I get it. Um, it's like imagine when I did my Kim Hearts run. You know, I still had to gather the weapons, but like the ultimate weapon, it's like, well, I got all this materials anyway because of code, so. Oh, yeah. It, it's also a different type of synthesis, so. Is it? There, okay, yeah, there is a one over here. I'm checking the shop. Because I forget what he has now. I know he has, like, fast and slow gauge, but... North wind and static. And this static I currently don't have, but I also don't care. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I hope that was a typo, hot corn dog. Untrap, we got some Zenny. Perfect. Is Junkman going to be mean to me? Is he going to show up and just be like, Surprise! I'm here now. Like, oh, great. Didn't want to fight you. Not yet, anyway. Any green? Sweet. Oh, lame. Hole. Oh, I don't need that. If I'm gonna heal up, I'll do that in area three. Even though I easily could have gotten the kill. I'm gonna take yeah, I, I need to, like, actually do some of the fights. Just not the spiders. I don't like the spiders. I really don't. They're, they're not good. Alright. Let's see. Let's go find green up here. Mini Bomb L. Why should I be surprised that it's Mini Bomb L? Um... Too bad I can't... Okay, hold on. You know what? I can easily make this work. I meant to use Number Soul. I meant to use number soul. <laughs> Not that it really mattered. Yeah, I think your phone's trying to tell you something, hot corn dog. Basically, we went with the Minutemen. The weakest faction, so it kind of made sense to collect and gather junk. We made a monopoly on water. How'd that go for you? Great, now I gotta heal up. Oh yeah, in my Dragon Quest run, I'm just kind of at the point where I can't move forward or else I'm going to miss the, the
the window for the achievement, so it's like I I basically just need to sit down and just go AFK for a while. Or uh I could just fight random monsters so I can just get try to get some levels, but there's gonna be there's diminishing returns now. So I can get the other achievement I need, which is to max out fisticuffs with one of the characters. And there's diminishing returns after a little while when you're fighting the same group, so it's like, ah, I think I'm at the point where it'll be, but I'm better off doing something else and just let the game sit for a little while. Um... Probably not going to get the green. Oh. oh, I got it. I got three buck frags out of that. Perfect. Never broke. I was able to make a settlement supply lines to connect all of your junk to the main settlement. Made an EXP farm and eventually switch from money farm to make explosives to sell. Very nice. Is explosives the best uh, resource to sell? You know, the most money for the cheapest materials sort of thing. Makes me think of Final Fantasy IX with the cotton robe trick. Final Fantasy IX has the synthesis aspect. And you can make a cotton robe, which sells more than the two materials it takes to make it. So, and you could do this in disc one. <laughs> We're conquering the whole map and destroying the other three factions. Well. When you make explosive, when you make plenty of explosives, I guess that that's how it's gonna be. It's just like, yeah, I don't want. I don't think you should mess with me. I have this, you know, warehouse of explosives right over here that could just be dumped right in the middle of your faction, of your home base. I wouldn't. Sh I wouldn't try me. Now, where is the other green? See, Medjel K is. You buy it here for cheaper. So if I want that code. There it is. More Zenny. Alright. I can either buy two lock enemies. Or buy one lock enemy and use the rest of the money for chips for program advance. I think I should buy two lock enemies. So that way we could go after Top Man and Fireman. I still might be able to buy a chip anyway. Buy? Can I buy a chip? We might have to buy the gut punches, but we'll see. Don't have enough for that. No. No. I can buy a Twin Fang 1. There we go. That should be enough. Let me look. A, B, and C. All right, let's go get that program advanced very quick. Mm. 
melee playthrough, no explosives. Only sold them. Giving each settlement an artillery cannon. So through a smoke bomb, at least three settlements will bring hell on Earth to that location. <laughs> Be like, okay, I'm gonna send a signal right over there. Everyone just send everything you got to that specific location. Okay, I am going to use up to my use up my side bamboo. There we go. One left, but that's fine. I only need one alive anyway. Uh, we can do this. Get rid of a lot of stuff. Oh, that's the last of it. Hmm. To take down one faction, you need five settlements with artillery? Oh, so you have to do that anyway. You know, I don't think I ever actually went into Metal Soul. I love how Mega Man now has a mohawk of a metal blade. I mean, I think that's just kind of funny. Is this all he could do? Just punch the ground? A, B, and C. Beast Fang 1. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Got that one done. I'm gonna throw my wide shots back in. I think they're at the very bottom. No? Okay. Oh, whoops. What am I doing? Where's Gun Soul? It's down here. There it is. Alright. With that program advance done, I have 19. Still got a little bit to go. Anyway. Alright. Let's go after Top Man. Hopefully Top Man will be a little easier than Spark Man. Go to Jomon. Then we'll go right in here. All right, sneak run. Might as well grab it. It's not gonna hurt anything. Can't be destroyed because either faction doesn't exist or because you brought it back so you're the leader, but they could destroy others. The one faction that gets destroyed at and ends the main game is the Institute. Hmm. Hmm. Where the hell's Top Man? I'm gonna have to reset, aren't I? Because Sneak Run's going to expire. It's the same as the other two. You destroy the Institute and the game ends. You could join the Institute and do their ending. Hmm. Right. How many endings does Fallout 4 have? Because you just, you just name dropped two right there. All right, Top Man, where are you? I mean, to be fair, Top Man is old, so he's probably very slow at finding me. He probably he probably doesn't even know I'm here.
Top Man, you're here somewhere. I think I remember Top Man being an okay chip. Kind of works similar to Pit Hockey, but not 100%. I don't know. It's a little weird. Come on. Uh, sneak Run expired. Four enemies. Minutemen have three split endings that will still destroy the Institute. Hmm. So basically, it sounds like all of it has to do with the Institute. Whether you join or destroy them, all four endings involve the Institute. Okay. Did we finally find find him? There he is. He's old and green. Number soul. All right. All right. I know where he's gonna stand. How oh, I want to do this. I think we'll get rid of these. Luckily, I hit him twice. Oh, messed that up. Um, how oh, do I want to set this up? You know what? Let's start with this. Got to get rid of something. Pricks power. Good. Anything? Not really. This isn't that great of a setup. Can we get him in the middle? Oh, that's on me. Ah, dang it. I should know the rules. I should have already known how this works anyway. Do I have a full energy? No. Block enemy it is. It has to be a no-hit run anyway, <laughs> so... Top, uh, fighting Top Man has to be a no-hit run as it is. Okay, Top Man, where are ya? Should be easier to find. Come on. Pop up. S sneak around expired, that's fine. It can expire. This is not what we want. Actually, hold on. I think we'll still do this fight. Because... We get a heal out of this. Now it doesn't have to be... Well, it still has to be a no-hit run. But at least I get some HP out of, out of it. Besides... Is this him? Nope. Uh-uh. Probably gonna have to just reset anyway. Even with lock enemies, it's not guaranteed. Oh, where is he? There you are. Okay, how I wanna do this. Yeah, let's get rid of... Let's do all that. Oh, I wonder if Poltergeist works on his stuff. Oh, I messed that up. 
I'm just gonna use Invis now. I got hit. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Remember, I, I like to get an S rank. I can't be hit. I can't be hit. In the institute ending, you destroy two of the factions and become their leader. Technically, you're now the leader of the two factions with that ending. The Minutemen and the Institute. Ah, okay. And that's the one where you join the Institute. Okay, there's Top Man. Okay, we'll start with Number Soul and then get rid of these. Again, no hit run. I just walked straight into that, didn't I? Again, Top Man's kind of like, you know, the pit hockey. You kind of need to stay three squares away, but the fact that he charged forward, I was kind of being faked out right there. Oh. I could get rid of a lot of other chips. I can't be hit anyway, so... We'll save number soul for uh, later. You know what? Yeah. Okay. Um. We'll heal up an invis. All right. What do we got? Still. Hmm. I'm not liking this. I want to save my... My number soul. It's probably a good idea to do this anyway. There it is. Let's heal up. Probably wasted too much time in it anyway. It's probably been more than 30 seconds. He was in the middle. Okay. And with that... Frick's power. Now I'm, a, now I'm worried about time. Yep. It was... That was time. We'll run around. Uh... A sneak. Oh, that was sneak run that expired. Hold on. Yeah, it's still not blocking me. Okay. The minimum ending destroys the institute, and then it leaves the other two factions up to you. You can leave them or destroy them. The Minutemen have has no problems with the reload. You just have different goals that you can work together. I see. They do have a problem with the Brotherhood's steel. They won't attack them unless you start a quest to destroy the Brotherhood's seal. Hmm. Okay. I think I want to get rid of... Do that. I look kind of look... That is kind of an interesting frame to pause on. I have never... I don't think I've ever actually taken a look at that. That's an interesting uh, animation frame for a top man. Um, oh, wow. I still don't have number soul. Better heal up. 
heal. Yeah, we'll use number soul. And I got hit. This is kind of what I was waiting for. Oh, come on. Yeah, okay, that's not going to work. See, I had the time down, but I got hit twice. So that's not going to work. I really should buy a full energy. I should do that before going after Fireman next. And after Fireman, we'll probably go after Number Man and then roll. Okay, let's see. Let's get rid of these first. Oh! You know, it's always safe to be three squares ahead of him and, you know, until they decide he decides to just charge at you. It's like, okay, I'm not prepared for that. I should be prepared for that, but I get faked out. And there's no way to tell what which way he's going to go. Just got to have to have good reflexes. Also, destroying the reload doesn't require Go through, go to the headquarters and throw a couple grenades and walk away. Their faction is the most hated by the Fallout community. It's the least influential in the game. Hmm. Are you talking about the brother? You're talking about the Minutemen, aren't you? The most hated faction, the Minutemen. Also, by the way, how long is a playthrough of Fallout typically take? Or, you know, Fallout 4, I should say. The railroad is the most hated. Okay. I misunderstood. There's Top Man. Okay. I think I will do this. Hmm. Okay, number soul it is. I can get rid of gun soul EX. That's not going to hurt anything. That didn't work. Oh well. U V W. Now let's see if we can get him in a good spot. Yes! Right where I wanted him. Top man SP. Done. Oh, I need to check records. <coughs> if you do every quest and side quest, it takes about 1,800 hours. Just the main game is about 40, 50. Okay. 55 damage for top man. <coughs> but it's obviously a multi-hit move. Of some sort. All right. I'm going to go buy... A full energy. 
So clearly, I need some. No, not mini energy. Where can I buy full energy? Can I buy him Castello? Yeah, sounds like Fallout's a pretty big game. What do we got? Yeah, I'll spend all my money to buy two. I probably don't... I don't know if I need them. It's just nice to have them. I have to do money grinding anyway. Alright, we're gonna go after Fireman. Luckily, I could always go Aqua Soul and just deal like 400 damage per wide shot. Alright. Make a save. Sneak run. Now I wish I have set up on trap. What am I doing anyway? I have to do a money run anyway. So I'm just gonna hang out over here. So I could swap back to Dex's PC and do a run. A money run. Where are you? Where are you, Fireman? He's here somewhere. Does he not want to fight me? I wouldn't blame him. I'm just too cool. I'm too cool to fight him, and I'm way better than, than Fireman, and he knows it, because he's a coward. Uh, sneak run expired. Okay, good. It's still it's still in effect. It's just making sure and double checking. Where is he? Where's Fireman? I gotta be careful when I'm finding Roll because of the whole teleport thing. Mom, where is he? This is the annoying part. <laughs> Whether her steel is the easiest ending to get. That faction gives you so much stuff. Uh, uh, is there a New Game Plus function in Fallout games? Or... Or is it all start from square one? Maybe Fireman's on the upper level. Why does it feel like ads are pop the ads are popping up way too fast? Is time flying, or does it feel like ads are popping up way quicker than they should be? Time must be flying. Sneak run expired. Ah, oh, come on. Man, I I could equip oil body. I shouldn't need to. I didn't have to with Aquaman or Spark Man. But I might have to. If I have to reset, I'll unequip. I'll unequip something. 
to get oil body equipped. I don't know why he's not popping up. Well, you haven't missed much, I can tell you that. Uh, let's get oil body equipped. If I do that. Yeah, we won't have reflect. But I kind of need to just find him first. Quick question, chat. And this has to do with, like, the whole ads thing, right? Would you rather end up de- Oh, there he is. <sighs> Found him. Uh, would you rather deal with... E ads with every hour, but it's a set of three minute ads, or every half an hour, but it's a minute and a half. Like, what would you rather deal with? Brotherhood of Steel's easiest, then the Institute, then the Railroad, and then the Minutemen. Hmm. Minutemen's hardest uh, ending to get. Every hour? Just a three set of three minute ads? I could probably maybe adjust that. You see, I would have thought that dealing with ads, a shorter amount of ads would be less annoying than three, sitting through three minutes. I got hit. But if you rather deal with every hour a set of ads, we I can readjust that. That's not gonna work. Do I still get hit? Oh, I stopped the attack. That was close. You see that? Okay, I guess we'll have to just go with normal hockey pucks. Alright. There we go, got him. Fireman. Alright. So first, I am going to lock enemy. Now I'm going to get rid of oil body. And I want reflect back in. See your nap. Yes, I am hu Navi hunting Tyler. Uh, so we got... Let's see. Well, let me make a save. So we've taken care of Sparkman. It's really only been Sparkman Top Man, hasn't it? Huh. I thought it would have been more. No, Navi Hunt. Oh, I also taken care of a few program advances. Uh. uh what, what did I take care of? Let's see. I, I took care of that last time. We got Top Man. Yeah, Top Man SP. Yeah, there we go. That's right. Top Man and Spark Man so far, and we're working on Fire Man at the moment. Man, it's nearly two hours, and I've only taken down like two navvies. Today feels very unproductive, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, number soul. This is a not bad starting folder. Oh, 
Ah, oh, dang, I got hit. I can't, remember, I can't get hit. How's it going, Tyler? I can... I can buy the Dark Soul chips from the Red Sun navvies because of the compare folder stuff. And I'm gonna have to do that, but that also requires a lot of money grinding because they cost like... Oh, like 20k, I believe? That's how much they cost. Okay, invis. Number soul. Um. There we go. We could do another 200 damage. Oh, I managed to hit him there. Not yet. Set it up. Ah, oh, dang it. I waited too long. Not much to report, honestly. Uh, yeah. I watched the new Godzilla vs. Kong yesterday. It was a movie. <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad, but it is definitely a movie that exists. You know what, I can at least deal 400 damage, even if it's only a single hit. And maybe if I get more, then I'll do a net, net improvement. See, this is already improvement. Oh, you, you missed out on minus one? That's a really good movie. I didn't watch the black and white version of it, but Godzilla Minus One was really good. I think we'll just use Prick's Power. I've noticed that my theater will get like some anime movies like airing, but it's more of like it, it only lasts a week, and it has, like, very few showings. But I kind of want to watch them just to be like, Hey, let's get these over at our theater. It's kind of a small town. You know, the more of these, the better. I haven't seen everything that comes to my theater, but, you know... I saw Dragon Ball Superhero uh, One Piece Film, re film Red... Here we go, Fireman SP. Yeah. Almost trying to be like, hey, get get more of these over here. Because a few years ago, they uh, aired the Cowboy Bebop movie, but it wasn't in my theater, but went out of town to go watch it anyway, and it's like, wow, I really wish that was just in my theater. What am I doing? What am I doing? Records. Okay, so Fireman is 180. Interesting. Okay. I Did I use up my lock enemies? I used up both of them. Okay. Gonna make a save. Time for another money grinding. Time for more money grinding. Honestly, the money grinding is what's going to take a long time, isn't it? Because I need to buy lock enemies, and that costs a lot of money. And just doing a run or two of this does take a little bit. And sadly, sneak run isn't actually helping me. Honestly, uh, I think that's part of the reason why we're nearly two hours and it feels like I didn't get much done. <laughs> the money grinding as well as the... Uh, the money grinding 
and the program advanced stuff. Even then, that didn't really take that long. Show that there's at least an interest in some kind of films. Exactly. I have noticed that my theater doesn't really do the ones where it's like, oh, we're, we're, we're airing, like, a movie that existed for 20 years. We're just airing it. Like, they'll do those. I mean, I've seen, like, Jurassic Park 1 in theaters because they, they did, like, a double feature when the new one was coming out. But, like, they'll do it for those. Like, but when it comes to, like, anime movies that's not brand new, they don't really do that. Although, I think they're having, like, some Ghibli films at our theater. So... I think that might be the exception, but maybe I need to go see them. Just be like, hey, bring more of these over here, because I don't want to go out of town into Portland just to watch a movie that I may or may not have seen. Because uh, for Cowboy Bebop, I had to go all the way to Portland just to watch it. The parking sucks. <laughs> <clears throat> Honestly, that was the most annoying part. And that was the first time I saw that movie. Just a few years ago. It was, it was nice to watch it in theater. Nice to watch it in theaters. But again, like, I don't see my theater running Akira anytime soon, If you know what I mean? Not unless it was, like, a brand new, like, variant or something. Like, a brand new movie, you know? But yet, we'll, we'll run Nightmare Before Christmas. I should have done this fight. We'll run Nightmare Before Christmas, you know? Not that I'm complaining, it's just more of like, hey, I want to see some of these in theaters. Bring them over here. No? I have to go to Portland? I don't want to do that. Oh, it's Kendo Man. I mean, let's be honest, it was bound to happen. Uh, because of how often I have to run through here. Well, let's see what we can do. So, if I do this, he now can't do anything to me. Now I gotta get rid of some stuff. Polar Express? Honestly, that's one of those, like, Christmas movies that I actually don't like watching. I don't know why. Maybe it's the CG, or I just don't really care about what's going on in the plot. Wait, okay. I'll go this route. I'm not the biggest fan of Polar Express. Oh no, he's training me! It will work, I swear. Okay. At this point, I gotta go for air hockeys. There we go. Eh, didn't get the time. That's okay. I was off by six seconds. Oh well. I mean, I wasn't trying to find him. I was gonna say, why don't I just use a lock enemy? But I, I don't have a lock enemy. It's just like, oh, it's perfect. Let's just lock enemy him. Like, no, I can't. That's the whole point of this.
But like, uh, seeing Jurassic Park in theaters, like, I watched it and I'm like, this makes sense. I see what people were, I see why people were really impressed back in the 90s. Like, it, it does give a, give off a different, uh, look. You know. And then, you know, when Avatar 2 was coming out, I rewatched Avatar 1 in theater. And I'm like, yep. It's just because it looks pretty. It still holds up visually. But that's all it's got going for it, honestly. <laughs> it's Pocahontas, but in space. And then Avatar 2 is just Avatar 1 again. Oh, Search Man, okay. Wasn't planning on this. Should maybe get rid of the rock. Be losing out at out of pit hockey, but that might be for the best. Let's get rid of both of them. Yeah, I don't care that it missed. I gotta remember, Invis is not actually gonna help me. Not for this fight. I know anyone who can name a single character from the Avatar. <laughs> it's just really because the F Yeah, it is. Like I, I can't remember the names of the characters. Um Again, visually, it still holds up. But that's all it's got going for it. Jake, is that his name? I don't even know. You might be lying to me. Ah, I messed that up. Ooh. Duo. You see, you're not even sure about that. The fact that you're questioning your uh, questioning whether it's Jake or not shows how. Uh... Well, we got Search Man SP. Thanks to Duo. <laughs> that was not a part of the plan, but made it work. Forty damage, probably hits multiple times though. The question is, how many times does it hit? Let me look. Five shots. 200 damage? I mean, that's okay. Jake Sully. Okay. Well, we got Search Man. That was not a part of the plan, but we got Search Man. I can't... I can't believe it, but you actually knew one. Yeah. Yeah, uh... Now that you say Jake Sully, that kind of sounds right, but... I don't know. We are on the internet right now. You could be lying to me. But then again, this is the internet, though. The internet never lies. Right? The internet never lies, chat. Right? I love how I'm getting, like, the SP chips for Navis that aren't actually getting me 100% right now. <laughs> At least we don't have to fight Search Man. Oh, I didn't suffer from dementia. <laughs> and, you know, Avatar 2 is just Avatar 1 but with water. And that's it. <laughs> they even found a way to bring back the same villain, you know? It's like, that's how 
we're not that's how much we're not caring right now and also like i think avatar 2 is a, a case of dimension returns uh because when i'm thinking avatar i'm thinking how how ahead of its time the visuals are when you look at avatar 1 and i'm expecting something just has a just as big as a leap forward in technology as Avatar 1 was back in 2009. And it looks nice, but it's not that big of a jump, you know? Uh, I think that actually is the plan, Hot Corn Dog, because I think movie 3 and 4 are being worked on. And one of them is like the Mountain Tribe or the Volcano Tribe or something like that. We're just doing, you know, the Avatar, like, Last Airbender elements. And that's just going to be... We're just doing that, you know. That's what we're doing. I hate that I have to specify Avatar, Last Airbender. Because, you know, they have the same name. <laughs> By the fourth movie, I hope visuals get worse. <laughs> you know what? It probably would. I don't know if I was expecting too much out of the Avatar movie visually. I don't know. I I think it's just you're expecting really like the best visuals that put so much money and just get so many vi. Sorry, I'm just kind of... You know, like, visuals that are 10 years ahead of its time, you know? And it just feels like visuals that are... capable of being done now for only slightly more money. You know? Like, it, it doesn't feel that big of a leap. And I think it's just an example of Dimension Returns. And if, Ava and if Avatar's only thing is its visuals, it's just gonna get worse and worse. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that the movie's gonna look worse than say any other you know mainstream movie. It's not gonna look like you know a a bootleg movie. Although, that would be funny. But... Yeah. It, it, it's just gonna look like every other movie. It kinda... Avatar 2 kinda already looks like every other movie. You yeah. know? Oh. Might as well... We have pay hockey. Might as well kill the spider. Gun ball three. I still say Puss in Boots two was a better movie of the year instead of Avatar two. And I know I'm not alone in that, but still, like, it's just like uh, Puss in Boots two better movie than Avatar two. I will die on that hill. And I don't know how many people will fight me on that. Come on, let me run. Oh, there it is. Time Bomb K. Okay, we could go buy a single lock enemy. So, we'll go find Number Man. Too bad I can't use Sneak Run to make things easier. Because it really isn't going to help me. I should be able to Sneak Run like every enemy now. Uh, maxed out on HP except for the Navi fights. But nope, that's not how it works. 
Okay, we're going to fight Number Man. I want to take the Chomon section. Be faster if I go this way. Uh, can I? Um, maybe, maybe. Uh, not fast enough. Not fast enough. Gunsoul doesn't drain the HP fast enough. Okay. Uh, sneak run. I got some extra zenny. Where are you, number man? He's here somewhere. He, you know, he, I think number man knows that brute force is better than math. So, he's trying to hide from me. Where are you? Nope, gotta reset. Okay, sneak run is still on. I set that up correctly. Alright, number man. I need to get your SP chip. I think he just... I think the chip just throws a die block. Kind of like the charge shot. Maybe it does more damage. But honestly, his secret chip, his uh, number ball is way better. Or it can be way better than... Actually, Number Ball is probably the strongest chip, or it can be. If you really care about that. Come on. Where are you? Yeah, nothing. Sadly, I can't use anything like oil body. Nothing like that is going to help me. It's going to be here somewhere. Just have to find it. Where are you, number man? I mean, Number Man knows he's not going to win this fight, so he's just hiding like a coward. Number Soul. Fast Gauge. Let's get rid of Guardian. chips. And it and this. Alright. Well. Duo it is. Alright. Duo. Punch him in the face. I think Duo is the best Giga Chip. Duo might be the best Giga Chip. 
80 damage. Probably a multi-hit. Uh, no, wait, hold on. Let's take a look. Okay, it is a bomb. But if 80's the base damage, I think that's if it rolls a 1. But you know what this means? Time to money grind. Because Lan has no money. Or lock, en lock enemies are just that spendy. I think Duo might just be the strongest chip here. The fact that it's a multi-hit move, and it's pretty dang accurate. Like, it's not, like, not It's technically random enemies, but it's pretty damn accurate. And it'll hit them a good four or five times. You can easily deal a thousand damage, plus. And with Number Soul, you can easily get a plus ten right there. So it adds up. So is Blue Moon better than Red Sun? Just because of this alone? Honestly, I think Blue Moon might be better just for Number Soul alone. I mean, yeah, you got Search Soul, and that's a pretty good one. It does something similar to what you could do with Number Soul. But... The, the the base plus 10, you know? Like, that's already really useful. And then, you know what's funny? Uh, so, I could go... I go number soul. I use duo. And... With duo, we get the plus 10 at the very least. Imagine, imagine turn one. I I got number soul with a plus ten, duo, and then attack plus thirty. So I, I at least get duo plus forty. Next turn, I go uh, junk soul, and it has recycle. <laughs> junk junk soul has recycle, which means. You get duo and the plus 30 back. I mean... Is that not a broken combo? I think Blue Moon might be the better game. <laughs> Alright, um... He's not, he's not going to move. Granted, there's probably some broken combos you could do in Red Sun. Not saying there isn't, but I think Blue Moon might have an edge right now. Just with Number Soul alone, and then combine that with the potential of Junk Soul Recycle. Still haven't found Windman again yet. That's fine. I don't really like fighting him. I hate the wind. Can't be stopped. All right, what do we got? Not helpful. Up here, no. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, another, another freaking lock enemy run. Oh yeah, it's not down there. And then we're gonna go find roll. And then is Thunderman? No, Thunderman and Windman. After that are the only other Red Sun navvies. Because I have already taken down Search Man. Blue Moon, I got Aquaman and Number Man, and I think that's it. Yeah. That's all I got right now. 
Although, after a roll, we'll go after Woodman. That's something. Wait. Okay, let's see. So, Protoman's under net 6. Melman's under net 3. Under net 2. Yeah. Protoman's gonna be, like, the last one we're going after. Actually, I might save... I might hold off on Shade Man for a little bit. We'll see. I don't like Shade... I don't like fighting Shade Man. Although, I might be able to deal with Shade Man now. I need to check the bug frag trader. See if there's anything I could buy. And then we got we still gotta fight base again. In Black Earth 2. I gotta figure out a different strategy for him. Because reflect isn't necessarily gonna work on him. Yeah, I crapped out. Eh, it's all good. You're just, you're just missing the exciting adventures of Mega Man getting his money. <laughs> you know, it's very exciting content, I know. But this is the Battle Network experience. And I say Battle Network and not Battle Network 4 because Lock Enemy is just a thing you have to deal with. And all of them. Oh no, I can't get away. Oh no, I'm gonna lose that green mystery data. We're safe for a turn. Uh, at this point. Might as well. Ah, dang it. You know, I, I, I should probably see if I can heal with Wood Soul. Or the healing, that works too. There we go. More money. Ah, Battle Network 2, under net 5, getting like a, what was it, 15k? And there's three mi green mystery days you can do? That was nice. That wasn't that so nice. It, like, money was never an issue. I miss those days. Okay, green mystery data. Yeah, that's, that's a good amount of zenny. I'll take it. Who knows? Maybe we could buy two lock enemies. Wouldn't that be nice? I think the rest of this, like, the rest of these episodes is going to use a lot of money grinding. Money grinding is going to be the main thing going forward for a little while. Because we need money for lock enemies, and then we need money for the dark soul chips. Plus money for other program advances that I still need to do. Mega Man wants to... an application. He would have to... He would have strong legs by now with all this running. Yeah, you'd think he would be able to run better. Imagine if this was one of those... Uh, one of those games where the more you do an action, the more you, like, level it up and get better at it. So the more Mega Man's running around, the higher the chance he has to run away. Like, the more he shoots the Mega Buster, the stronger it gets. You know, that sort of thing. It was worth it. It was Zenny. You know, I, I, I was, I was kind of thinking about this. And Mega Man is... Okay, I guess Junkman wants, a, wants another win under his belt. Sorry. Uh... I was thinking about how Mega Man could, like, come back to modern gaming. First of all, like, all we're really getting right now is the 
collections, but the last new Mega Man game we got was Mega Man 11. And look, I love classic Mega Man. I'm not getting this. There we go. Uh, I love classic Mega Man, but it's not really a game that could be sold for full sixty dollars and more or less, if you if you understand what I mean. Um. So I'm trying to think: Would any of the Mega Man series work well in like? With like, uh, uh, be worth a sixty dollar price tag. Is, I think is more of what I'm getting at, and I think maybe the only one that could work is the Mega Man Legends, or maybe Battle Network Star Force, because those these RPGs can last a while. Obviously, you would have to like update them, of course, but. Make a FPS. I mean, have you heard of Maverick Hunter? <laughs> that they were going to do. Maverick, Hun Maverick Hunter was uh, a canceled game where it was basically a Mega Man X reboot? Uh, but the suit, was, but the gameplay kind of looked like it was Metroid Prime. Des and the armor was designed by the same guy who made the Iron Man suits for the movie. I, like, art style looked, you know, this was at the time when the art style, was, everything was just dark and moody. It has no color, but the gameplay kind of looked okay. Again, it kind of seems like Metroid Prime. I, I'm starting to think that if Mega Man wants to be a series that can sell for a full $60, like, you know, full price price tag, you know what I mean? I think it would have to create bas basically like a brand new sub series. You know? Because, you know. And I'm talking about the 2D platformers mostly. The RPGs, you just make them a little bit bigger, you know? You can easily make it work. Um, one more. But I think the only one that would have a shot is Mega Man Legends. I think that would be the only one that would have a chance to really be able to sell for a full price tag. But then again, we're never going to get Legends 3. That's never going to happen. And you gotta just live with that. Also, apparently... Capcom has it set up to where if they want to do anything with Mega Man, they basically need the approval of Keiji Inafune. So, even though he doesn't work there anymore, at least from what I heard that this is how it works over there. So, I think that's part of the main reason why we're just getting collections. Because they can't really make a game without just getting Infinity's approval. But he doesn't work there. Why am I fighting this? Why am I doing this? There it is. I, at least that's what I heard how, how they have it set up. And if that's actually true... Honestly, it doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, it makes sense when he was still working at Capcom. 
Because he was the one that... Okay, I... He didn't necessarily create Mega Man, quote unquote, but he was there since from basically the beginning and one of the one of the minds behind Mega Man. I think that's a better way to describe it. And either way, I'm... and I, again, I think that's the main reason why we haven't actually been getting. Mega Man content ever since Mega Man 11, other than these collections. Because I don't think they need Inafune's permission to do re releases. And again, if that is actually how, how it works, that it makes no sense to me. After a while, you think they would just want to make more Mega Man stuff because people there are people that want to buy Mega Man for whatever reason I don't understand why though I think those Mega Man fans are freaks uh, but hey people buy them but they're just not making new Mega Man stuff for whatever reason Can we buy anything from Bug Frag Trader? No, uh, we could. No, I'm better off buying that. You know, you know, get my own personal uh, substitution jutsu. Even though it does the same amount of damage as Reflect, and I'm most likely getting hit again anyway. So honestly, I'd rather keep Reflect. I would like confirmation about that whole Inufune thing, but that's what I heard is how they have it set up. Like, uh, although one thing I heard is that some people had trouble coming up with Mega Man ideas because he left. So, morale was down. That's one thing. Like, I understand if morale is down because the main Mega Man guy just left. So they didn't make Mega Man stuff because uh, it's just like, I don't know. Or, the guy's not here anymore. Like, what do we do? Like, I get that. But I don't think that's actually what's stopping him now. There has to be something involved with there has to be something that has to be stopping them or they just don't care and honestly this is capcom they probably just don't care that's probably the m most logical answer i run Because theoretically, he could just be like, no, you're not allowed to make Mega Man at all, because I say so. So, it, there has to be more to it than that. Oh, let me run. Oh, of course, I can't run away. Because why would I be able to do that? Come on, run. There we go. Alright. How much money do I got? Okay, I could buy two. Two lock enemies. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I know I don't have the money to buy another ship. But hey, we're gonna go fight Roll. So that's something, right? Okay, yeah, we're better off going to Jumbo. From what I got from Google, after he left, they kind of don't know what to do with the IP and mostly just want to focus on what they got with all their IPs. I think there's something... I, I think there's more to it than just they don't know what to do with it. 
Because again, low morale and not not knowing what to do with Mega Man is one thing. But I think there's something else going on that's more than just we don't know what to do with it. Uh, looks like I'm going to need to restock on sneak runs. Because, like, what's wrong? Like, what's stopping him from just making Mega Man 12, you know? X, X9, uh, ZX, what would be after Advent? Star Force 4. I do think part of the reason why we're getting these legacy collections is to gauge how popular some of these sub series are. Last year in June, they said it's in their heads and they just need ideas. Hmm. Okay. Let's go with this. Okay, roll. I know you could just teleport away from my attacks and you could just make me get rid of my chips. Okay. Get rid of Guardian. Her only attack can be... Yeah, this is this blocks her attack. Okay, I heard her teleport. Hmm. I think we'll just use the air hockeys. We'll just use them. Ah, uh, ah, uh, dang it! I had it in the right spot too. All right. Wow, still no number soul. Also, it just kind of seems like Capcom is focusing more on like Resident Evil and. Like some of their other bigger franchises, like Street Fighter, Resident Evil, and uh, Monster Hunter. Granted, I think those franchises sell more than Mega Man. If I remember correctly, those two, those three sell more than Mega Man. And then, like, it's those three, and then Mega Man's their, like, next best selling franchise. Uh, that would be Mighty Number no. 9, and that was made by Inafune. I had an extra lock enemy. Oh, did I not need one for... I didn't need one for Number Man. Oh, well, I need more anyway. Maybe that scared him a bit? No, because... In response to Mighty Number no. 9, they made Mega Man 11. And Mega Man 11 is the best selling Mega Man game. It dethroned Mega Man 2. So, no, the money's there. People will buy Mega Man. We have proof of it. <laughs> They're just not making it. Ooh, I lucked out there. I already got a time. You know what? Uh, fine. Don't you just love air hockey? Ah, oh, dang it. That would have been a kill. Dang it. Fine. Dang it. Okay. There we go. Is that enough? 
There we go. Roll SP. How much damage does she do? 40 damage. I think it's 3 hits. So that's 120, I believe. And then you heal for half of that, I think. So 160. All right. Time for sneak run. Oh yeah, no. Mega Man 11 is the best-selling Mega Man game. And they made that pretty much in response to Mighty Number no. 9. And it, so, like, I don't know what's stopping them. Now, I do think that these collections are to gauge whether or not peop uh, people have interest in them. Maybe they're taking their time to not fumble the bag. Maybe, maybe they kind of learned their lesson from like the early 2000s of the oversaturation of the different Mega Man games and don't want to recreate that, but now they might be just going the complete opposite direction. I don't know. Because Mega Man has all these different side series going on at the same time, the mid two thousand, the early to mid two thousands, like there was just too many Mega Man games to keep up with. Like, I think in one year there was like a good, oh, uh, like a good six or seven Mega Man games. Like, Network Transmission, Battle Network three, same year. Uh, Mega Man X, like seven. I'm, like X seven. Uh, not Star Force. Uh, Zero. You see what I mean? <laughs> like, mid-2000s, like, they released too many Mega Man games in, like, the same year, and they oversaturated themselves. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly like Marvel Comics. Is that Woodman? It is. I believe he has super armor now. I remember him having super armor. So... Now let's just get rid of this. Okay, I at least got one reflect. Number soul. Wide shot. I love that he just landed on it. I have no clue. I want to say no. I want to say no, they didn't collab with Fortnite. Uh, fine, we'll get rid of Guardian. I just gotta hope it hits. Oh, uh, there. Oh, no. That's not good. Quick. Duo. Punch him in the face. And I gotta get rid of my freaking guardian because I messed myself up. Alright. Um. Guess I'll gun soul? I'm starting to think Gunsoul is, uh, for these fights, not that useful. And with this, Pit Hockey. Ah, uh, dang it. That was quick enough. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to lock enemy after this. There's no Street Fighter vs. Evil collab with Fortnite. Yeah, I don't think Mega Man collab with Fortnite yet. Keyword being yet. Because you know they will. There we go. Oh, 
that was awful. But, lock enemy. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Didn't Monster Hunter get something, too? Didn't Monster Hunter get a collab? Dr. Wily skin win? Yeah, I, I guess I would want Dr. Wily to just be running around just shooting people in the face. That'd be funny. I mean, it fits for Mega Man already. It already kind of works. Countered. And here we got Pile Driver. Not a good spot. Not at the moment. Here we go. W. Hit hockey three. Okay, he doesn't have super armor. I thought he. I thought he did. I thought for sure he had super armor. Invis. I'm getting my counters. And then, there we go. Monster Hunter has a collab. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we got wood, man. Uh, wood, wood, wood. 170 damage. Okay. And again, I think if you get faster times, you will get a power increase. I think that's how it works. I do not have sneak runs. Some extra ones. Let's just do a money run. I mean, buy restock on sneak runs. Buy lock enemies when I can. Honestly, if if Capcom is going to do another collab with Fortnite, I think Monster Hunter would be the next one. They do. They already did. You said, like you said, you're, they already did Street Fighter and Resident Evil. It'll, it could be Monster Hunter. Even. I was gonna say, even though they don't really use guns, but that doesn't stop Fortnite, honestly. It really doesn't. Because honestly, how many Street Fighter characters would actually use a gun? I don't think Ryu would. Legend of Korra skin. Okay. Did they at least do... Aang? Do they at least have Aang? Not that I want to see... E not that either of them makes sense. Getting guns on... As f I haven't seen Korra. Yeah, I own it. Uh, but I don't think guns are a thing in that show. Yeah, exactly. So Fortnite doesn't really care whether whether or not you know the character makes sense to use a gun or not. Bug fragments, very nice. Oh, I better try. I better try for this. Kind of lucked out that it only hits two. Two squares. Even though it hits three, the virus hits three squares. I think the game's cheating. Here. No, I don't think so. Yeah, 
Yeah, so since Fortnite doesn't really care whether or not the character makes sense to actually use a gun, I think you could fully expect Monster Hunter to be the next one. Bling Blind 3L. I don't know if I have that one. That one might be new. Ah, yeah. Okay, they just did a normal Avatar collab. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think Monster Hunter would be next if they don't do, like, a repeat. You know? And then it would be Mega Man. Even though Mega Man actually kind of works out kind of okay. Granted, they just end up using normal guns, but, you know, Mega Busters is close enough. Oh, the trailer was released. Okay. Can I run? Yay. Right. I already grabbed one green mystery data. How about two green mystery data? No. Oh, no. I don't want to do this fight. Why do you make me do this fight game? I would say this is mean, but... I mean, it kind of is. Can I run, please? Let me run. No, why'd you do this to me, game? I'm good. <laughs> I was trying to reflect. Fine. That's how you want it. Fight Zeus is definitely something Fortnite imagined back in 2018. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's what you expect. And when when you say fight Zeus, you mean with guns, obviously. You know, the peaceful no air nomads. They just kind of mind their own business to the point where they got executed. Yeah, let's give them guns. I think you are, you might, may or may not understand what I feel about like some of these skins in that type of game. Like it just doesn't work, but yet they do it anyway because, because kids play Fortnite. Granted, Solid Snake makes perfect sense. Even the stupid dances make sense for Snake. Bunch of goofy stuff happens in Metal Gear. So, like, it's not far out of the question. Oh, uh, that would be nice. Ah, uh, better. Fortnite is like the Lego of the video game industry. But at least with Lego, like, you can make anything work. Like, I can't think of a franchise that just wouldn't work as Lego. Be like, no, why are you doing this? This makes no sense. Like, it, you can make Metal Gear work as Lego. Like, the... <laughs> Oh 
Like, you can make it work. Fortnite? Nah, I don't know. Hey, look, we got Kendo Man. Kendo Man's done. Make a save there. Oh, uh, let me take a look. Okay, Kendo Man, he's probably at the bottom. 100 damage. It has to be a multi hit move. Or something. Maybe it is just 100 damage. Feels rather weak. There has to be something else going on. Like, I, I am now picturing a Lego Metal Gear. Uh, not even talking about the games. Now I just want a Lego Metal Gear. <laughs> Metal Gear Rex and Metal Gear Ray. Come on, Lego. Give me that set. I don't buy Lego because of how spendy you are, but I might consider it if you give me a Metal Gear Rex. Not only is it an expensive hobby, where would I put it? <laughs> My. Lego has con collab with Fortnite. They have combined. I'm not surprised. I shouldn't be surprised. Custom Sword B. Nah, I'm good. I don't need Custom Sword B. Yeah, I think Lego is just the right amount of, like, it's for everyone, and the you can make things the right amount of goofy to where you could basically make anything work. Like, almost anything you can make into the Lego game. Fortnite, there are just some things that just don't belong. <laughs> like Avatar. Or Hello Kitty. I don't know if Hello Kitty has a collab, but I wouldn't be surprised. Just imagine you're playing Fortnite and someone has a Hello Kitty skin and just Hello Kitty brings out a gun, you know? It's just like, I'm pretty sure there are some things that just don't work. Don't mesh well with Fortnite. But hey, the kids play Fortnite, so everything needs to go on Fortnite. And I think that's the, I think that's actually the reason why everything's on Fortnite. Because it, it's not just that it's popular, is that the kids are playing it. And if the kids are playing it, then everyone's playing it. I don't know on that, but still. I think that's just ultimately the reason. You know, it's the new Call of Duty. Except Fortnite's actually, like, what? What's it rated? Like, it's not M, that's for sure. So it's actually more appropriate. <laughs> Alright. More Zenny. No, but there is a group in Fortnite who wants Hello Kitty in Fortnite. Yep, I... Again... At some point, it's just like, this is a little... I could just picture it now, you know what I mean? When, when you can make a joke, and you're just like, that might actually happen. I think parody has become reality, you know? <laughs> After a certain point. When parody becomes reality. But you know what would work as a collab? Power World. 
they have guns in Power World. Not Pokemon, though. Even though you could totally make a Giovanni skin in, like, Fortnite, and I would buy it. He is a mob boss, after all. Like, I could totally buy Giovanni being a skin. But, like, no one else. Like, there are very few Pokemon characters where I'm like, yeah, I could buy that. I could see this character using a gun. But no, if they ever did, like, a Pokemon collab, try to, they just do a Pikachu skin, and then a Charizard, and a Mewtwo. And that's it. <laughs> Even though I don't think Pokemon would ever actually want to actually partner up. Oh, who knows? Maybe they will. Maybe they'll sell their soul, for all I know. I mean, they kind of already did. The sheriff from the anime who had a gun. Wait, what? Uh, are you... Wait, okay. Oh, yeah, the Pokemon anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Safari Zone Sheriff. Where not only did he point the gun at Ash, he fired it at Team Rocket. And that's why that episode was banned in the U.S. I remember being so confused on why Ash had 30 Tauros. I'm like, did I skip a week? I watched the next episode, like, the next week. And they're just like, after going through the Safari Zone and Ash catching 30 Tauros, I'm like, I'm sorry, did I skip a week? What happened? I was actually so confused when I saw that. I'm like, I was actually thinking, did I miss last week's episode? <laughs> they could have used the manga as inspiration. Yeah, let's just use the manga as inspiration and uh, have a Charmeleon cut uh, Arbok in half. Let's do it. But don't worry, it, it regrows its body, because... And also zombie Pokemon. And, you know, I'm pointing out that the sh sheriff, you know, points the gun at Ash. But honestly, the, the reason it got banned is that he fired it at Team Rocket. Because Ash has guns pointed to him before, and those weren't banned. I think it was in the episode where he gets his Squirtle. You know, like episode 12 or something. You know, like that early. He he goes into a store that just got robbed by Jesse and James, I think. He walks in and there are four people pointing shotguns at him. So... <laughs> but yeah, that one's perfectly fine. Pokemon Fortnite could be the Power World counter Nintendo could be looking for. Maybe. Maybe. But at least Power World would make sense if they did a collab. I need to buy Sneak Runs. That was the entire point of this. Oh, is that the one with the gun? In, uh... Anyway. Uh... Okay, so what do I have? I have maxed out sneak runs. I have two lock enemies. I need to go after Burn... Burner Man and Video Man. We'll do that. Hmm. Well, yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, the banned episodes in Pokemon now. <laughs> yeah, the Safari Zone is one of them. Purely because I think it has to do with firing the gun. You can point the gun at the main character, that's fine. Firing it and, ev and missing, like, every every time no that, that that's not we can't have that um 
There was the Jinx episode got banned because it's Jinx. And no other reason other than that. Uh I guess later on the Tentacruel episode got banned because of 911. But it's one of those things where I remember watching that on TV before it got banned. And I think it's unbanned now. Because in that episode, Tentacruel becomes a kaiju and just starts destroying buildings because he's mad about pollution, I think. I don't know, something like that. So that one got banned because of 9-11, but I think it's unbanned now. I know, I know those got banned. I'm trying to think of... I know there's more episodes that got banned, but I can't... It was mostly season one, I think. I don't think many afterwards got banned. Sneak run expired, oh no. I know we missed some, ep like everyone like missed some episodes that was supposed to be in Gen 5. It was like the first introduction to Team Plasma. But we didn't get those episodes because of the, the earthquake that happened in Japan in like 20... 12? 2013? Something like that. But, you know, instead of ever releasing them, they just never did. And I don't think it was because they got lost. They just never aired him. It's one of those, we gotta keep going on with the schedule. Honestly, if, if that is... If what I remember about that is correct, I'm kind of annoyed that we've missed those episodes specifically. I wanted to destroy the burners. Okay, I can duo this with attack plus 30. Oh uh, yeah, you can't do anything now, can you? we get burn man where are you 100 damage i think it could technically hit three times i think three direct burner two ahead so that's technically 300 damage right there that's not bad and i didn't even need to lock enemy that one I know, okay, I know an episode Gen 3 got banned for similar reasons, like in, uh, because of, the, because of an earthquake that more or less recently happened at the time, but the episode involved had to do with wish cash and causing earthquakes, so, yeah. Oh, and the obvious one that got banned was the Porygon one. That one's obvious, though. I, it's so obvious that I forgot about it. You know, you know the Porygon episode that gave a bunch of kids seizures. And then Porygon was banned from the anime just altogether. 
He was hiding in plain sight, pretty much. Yeah, like, Porygon was never allowed to really come back because of that episode. And what sucks is it's not his fault. It was Pikachu's. Yeah, I know. That's what annoys me, too. Now, if Porygon appears in the anime, people are going to be like, But, but the seizures! Be like, no. It's not his fault. He did nothing wrong. Porygon did nothing wrong. Oh, well, Video Man was in the mystery data. <laughs> Those videotapes pop back up very fast. Um, it's not the right one. Uh, ah, dang it. Oh, okay, I made it work. Okay, I am going to try for pile driver. Got him. Oh, I missed. Pikachu is <laughs> Oh, and we got duo. Duo plus 40. Punch him in the face. All right. Video Man SP. How much damage are we talking? 55? It probably hits a couple times. Slam 2.5. It has to hit at least three times. Like, I can't think of 55 as being too weak, you know? Um... Okay, what's next? It's a Fortnite ad. Oh, that's hilarious. I think Twitch is li listening to this conversation. Oh, I only need four more. Proto Man, Metal Man, Junk Man, and Cold Man. Cold Man, oh wait, no. I need six more. Shade Man, Laser Man. Base. I still need to fight Thunder Man and Wind Man. Okay. Thunder Man, Wind Man. These are Shade. So I need to fight like eight more Navvies. Okay. How many Soap Chips do I have? I still have two lock enemies. I'll go a little bit longer. All right. Let's start with going to Yum Land and fight Windman. It is hilarious that it was a Fortnite ad. I'm pretty sure Twitch is listening in on this conversation. I want to set up on trap for now. We will be doing a money grinding set, but we are going after Windman. That is the main goal. Sneak run. Okay. I don't need that one. Where's the other green? Oh, there is no point in using Sneak Run anymore. 
Great. I can use battery to get Thunderman to show up. But other than that, I think we have to do just the normal encounter race. This was my point that Lan crashes the cypher cryptocurrency. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I in between games, he just crashes the market. Or it's it's maybe it's not in between games. Is that because of all the money he gathers during the main campaigns, the the money crashes after each event of the games. But yep, yeah, uh it is definitely Pikachu's fault that Porygon's not allowed to be in the anime. Although I think you might see him once in a while as a cameo appearance, but like he's not gonna he's never gonna get a, his own episode again. Porygon, Porygon 2, or Porygon Z will never get their own episodes. They had their chance in Gens 2 and 4. They'll never get them. Because people will just have war flashbacks. To the whole, you know, seizures thing. And it's like, I mean, I get it, but we know how to stop that. So just avoid a storyline that would even get close to something like that. But you can still have Porygon 2 and Porygon Z. But no, the anime just kind of doesn't want to acknowledge that they exist. I think Por I think Pikachu just had something against Porygon 2. And it's something petty. You know it is. I think it was just all a setup that Pikachu did. Pikachu's, Pikachu just wanted a way to get rid of a Pokemon that was man-made. You know? Because Porygon was created by computers in within the po Pokemon world itself. So, Pikachu's just like, nah, uh you're not a real Pokemon. So I'm gonna get you banned. <laughs> I think it was all set up. Pikachu just loves the attention, too, you know. He has the ego. Pikachu may put on a cute smile and look cute, but no. He, he, ha he has attention issues, and, like, he's very petty. And, like, look at Raichu! It's the Pokemon who is made in Arceus' image. Right, yeah. <laughs> We can get the green mystery data. But yeah, look at Raichu. Like, Pikachu upstages his older brother all the time. Every time Raichu gets a little bit of attention that he deserves, Pikachu has to one-up him every time. Like, okay, nothing really happened in Gen 6, but Gen 7, Raichu got in a low one for him. You know, something Raichu kind of, well, in a way it's, uh, would you call it a buff, but... You know, it's a new form. Raichu's getting more attention. Oh, Pikachu gets an exclusive Z move that makes it really good. Uh, Gen 8. Pikachu gets an exclusive Gigantamax form that Raichu doesn't get. Uh, 
Okay, he didn't, he, then nothing really happened to Gen 9 now that I'm thinking about it, but you know. Every time they, they just give it to Pikachu and they just ignore the Raichu that's just sitting right there. And every time Raichu gets some sort of attention, Pikachu just has to one-up him. Every time. Pikachu is very petty. Just trying to find Windman, and I know Sneak Run isn't going to help me. Okay, come on. Well, I'll, I'll grab this green. Zen pop up, come on. I need like bug frags and zenny. Windman is just not wanting to pop up. I think you could see the problem with uh, the whole sneak run not working. We should be able to let sneak run do its thing we are at max stats but the game's like no we can't let you run from these fights they're too strong even though honestly the only ones i should shouldn't be able to run from as easily or sneak run are probably black earth and maybe the last three undernight areas. Or maybe just all of undernight. I should be able to sneak run all of this. I should have stayed in that. Oh, well, I'm staying in anyway. Fragments, yay. At this point, I want to find Windman. That is the main goal right now. After that, well, hmm. We'll figure it out. nothing. Windman is definitely being very cowardly right now. He does not want to show up. I guess he thinks he's too weak against Makeup Man. Yeah, that's proving my point. He is the mascot and refuses to make him face judgment. Exactly! Exactly! He just puts on that cute face and be like, but look at my merch. And everyone's like, that is cute merch. We'll buy the merch. And then they forget about Pikachu's war crimes. Oh, uh, Windman, where are you? Where are you? 
still nothing? I know it's like I know it's like a seven percent. This is a little ridiculous. I think there's a big delay there. I don't know if that's just my computer or not. Come on. <sighs> See, I'm getting sleepy again because Windman does not want to show up. It's like Shade Man all over again. Ah, oh, come on. Still nothing. He is here. He's somewhere around here. He just doesn't want to fight. But yet, every time I'm just passing through and just doing my own thing, when, uh, some sort of navvy wants to show up and mug me of my money. It's still nothing. No, I can't get away for no apparent reason. At this point, might as well heal up. Oh no, I can't see. Except I totally can because Woodman is immune to sass effects. I think. I think he's immune to all sass effects. He's at least immune to paralyze and blind. Hell, I think confuse as well. What soul has its uses? Okay, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Again, kind of sleepy. Um, oh, by the way, I thought of uh, a potential like channel point reward. Well, uh, what are your thoughts on, like, you know how I have my make me do some sort of challenge run? Make me play a particular ROM hack. But I have it at, like, I don't know, 20k at most, you know? Cheaper than a challenge run one, but something slightly different. Because, honestly, like, ROM hacks and homebrew stuff is kind of something I don't really keep an eye on or forget about. So making that an option is just, I don't know, something to think about. Definitely make that a channel point reward. I, I think I would still have the rule, though, where it has to be the base game that the ROM hack is in question. I would need to at least play the base game before. Not necessarily stream, but yeah. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. That one's kind of weird, but... But it's definitely a idea. And that one I would probably make a channel point reward. If I were to make it. And I run. Yay. Where are you, Windman? Where are you? There is nothing I can do about this. Again, I could just swap my Navicust around and add in Sneak Run, but that's not going to change anything. That's still going to make me fight other viruses. Oh, there he is! Finally! Took forever. Alright, let's get rid of 
side bend. He really likes... He's just flying around, you know? Like, he's just kind of minding his own business. He's just flying around the Yumland net. And it's like, oh, there's Mega Man. I'm gonna... I'm gonna mug him. I forgot to do the... Oh, well. I guess... I didn't want to use that, but okay. I did get hit, so this means I will have to use a lock enemy. You changed the wind on me. One more turn. Still no bodyguard. But we can use Gun Soul. I guess while I have a second of Invis. There we go. Yeah, I did not get it on time or hits. However, one lock enemy will help. Remember, I can't get hit. No damage run, run of Windman. And I do have times two. Okay, I can mess with that. Come on, no. Where's Wind Man? I have Lock Enemy. See, I have Lock Enemy. I should be finding him. Now Wind Man's just being cowardly. He's just like, no, I don't want to fight you. There we go. Okay. Oh, I was kind of hoping time we could do times two. Like, something better, like Guardian or Frick's Power. Oh, okay. I'm going to use Invis. And I think, instead of Number Soul, we're going to use up my Air Hockeys. Both of them. While I have Invis. Now I'll go Number Soul. I'll go this. Now Invis. This should be enough. Pile driver. Get out of here, wind man. All right. What do we got? Uh, wind, wind, wind. It was at the top, wasn't it? 80 damage. It's probably... Like three hits. Let's spin across three squares. Again, it's still probably like three hits. So, what, 240 damage, maybe? All right. Let's try going for Thunder Man. gonna gather money while Ooh, okay there we go i only have one more lock enemy so after thunder man we'll probably end up trying to go for a uh 
uh, money grinding. this. Oh no, anti-water. Whatever will I do? I want to make sure I don't destroy the mystery data. There we go. Who has the Pong speed, speed run? <laughs> speed run achievement? Was there a speed run achievement? Retro achievements. Let me look. This is not what I expected to look up. Again, I don't think Pong has speedrun achievements, but it did have a couple achievements. Here I'm looking. Yeah, there isn't a speedrun one, if that's what you're asking. But I will say this, uh, it, it, it shows, like, the unlock rates of, like, how many people started that set and how many people got, like, each individual achievements. And I'll say this, um, it's not 100%. <laughs> A speedrun world, speed world record to get all the achievements? Oh, I wouldn't know. I don't, they don't really, one, I don't think they keep track of that. And two, who would want to keep track of that? Right, I'm just gonna hang out up here just in case I don't need to use lock enemy because then I can just go after cold man. Oh, I saw pit hockey. I just want to run. Run away. But I guess I will just use air pit hockey. Again, a program advanced so good they nerfed it. There we go. I mean, the achieve most of the achievements are just you know, get to five points and then win. And then the other one was bounce the ball back without moving. Honestly, that would probably be the one that would take the most amount of time. Yeah, so score five points and win the game. Score five points without letting your opponent score. Return the ball without moving after your opponent touches it. I would think to get all the achievements, it would just take like maybe a minute, you know? But I think it really depends on like the RNG of the, of like the ball, you know? What direction it goes, whether or not you could just stand there and get that one achievement for not moving, you know? Because you have to be able to get it for not moving and make sure that the opponent doesn't get a score in. I mean, there are people playing it. I guess some people were playing it yesterday. Actually, the past few days, some people were playing Pong.
Hmm. Uh, now nah, we'll just run. <laughs> I know I'm not going to get the green. While there isn't there there isn't like a speedrun category of how fast you got all of the achievements. Depending on the game, there are like leaderboards that keeps track of that you can keep track of things. Like for example, when I was playing Samurai Warriors recently, it does keep track of like your highs, basically your highest score, and puts it on a leaderboard. Like your highest kill count and your your fastest time. So like it's something like that is there when it comes to comparing times. Oh look, it's Thunderman. Okay, uh, no pile driver. Okay, this is gonna be hard. Honestly, Thunderman is gonna be a roadblock. Unless I go Wood Soul. But I'm also not supposed to get hit. So, I think we'll just do this. Ah, dang, I got hit. I'm not supposed to get hit, get hits anyway. At this point, I just want to win the fight. Okay. If I set this here... I stop the thundercloud. Honestly, I think that's the strategy right there. I think that's actually the strategy. this one, I just want to win the fight. There's number soul. Took a while. Honestly, this is the strategy I would need to beat Thunder Man. Um, I guess we could go Prick's Power. I'm basically using up the similar amount of chips anyway. And duo for the win. I'm gonna have to lock enemy. enemy it is. Well, I do need to money grind. And I should, because I already used the untrap. I have enough money to buy a single lock enemy. Okay, there we go. If we can get Guardian... right now. Okay, number soul works. Let's go this. Right, keep an eye. In 
it is. Good. Okay. Bodyguard or duo? Hmm. Duo would technically be faster if it gets the kill. There we go. Thunderband SP. That's done. All right. Let me take a look at my records. 200 damage. Pretty good. All right. So next up, let's do a little bit of money grinding. And then we'll probably call it. Because we only need to go after... How many navvies do I need to go after? I already took down everyone here. Bye, 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 bye. Yep, okay, so I took down all, basically all the secret ships at the moment. There are six more navvies, four in here. Then we got to fight base again. Plus all the extra money I have to grind for to grab everything else. We'll do... We'll grab the money. We'll call it. I may end up... Grabbing money on my own time. Because I need... You need, you need a lot of money. Oh, look. It's Kendo Man. Just what I wanted to see. It's not like I already have your SP chip now. I don't need to fight you anymore. Like, who needs to fight Kendo Man? I don't. Only Scrubs needs to fight Kendo Man. But I can't run, so... Nope, he's using training. <laughs> I'm just walking into every single one. Okay, well. Man, what scrub loses to Kendo Man? Only losers do that. So yeah, we got to get a few navvies, like six more. We got to fight base. Might as well just grab every navvy customizer part. Let's see, every navvy cust. Which most of them require money. Oh, some of them are going to be bug fragments, aren't they? Yeah, we're going to have to do bug frag hunting. That's going to be annoying. Hmm. I know there's one more Navicus part in Undernet 4's Bug Frag Trader. I need to look at the Bug Frag Trader in uh, Park Area 3. Can't run. Why? I can run from these guys normally. Come on, run. They're weaker. Okay. Let's 
single bug fragment. We'll take it. And we got Zenny. Perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of money to buy those Dark Soul chips. Oh no, I can't run. Why? I meant to reflect. Come on. Okay, there we go. Ugh. So I can currently buy a single lock enemy. That's enough for Cold Man. What the? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's in the upper area that you need to go to through uh, Town 4. Okay, yeah, we're not getting that. No wonder I don't always find all the green mystery data here. Some of them are on the upper path. Oh, hey, it's Junk Man again. Hi, Junk Man. You're here for a rematch. Gonna invis this. Alright. I will start with I'm using all this. And I got hit. So, no. No SP for me. But hey, I get in with Pile Driver. Only, like, half of it, but hey, I get in with Pile Driver. He's not gonna move forward. Still does a decent amount of damage. Still does like 460 damage. That's a lot of damage. Oh, that was slower. Not part of the plan, but okay. Come, Guardian. going to hit him. And, you know, if I don't be stupid... There we go. Now that was awful. How come I can't fight Junkman effectively? Too bad I don't have lock enemy. That would be nice. It would be very nice. Run? Okay, good. Alright. Under net area three. This is a good place for me to heal if I need to. I think I saw one of them in the center. I started with wood sold, maybe. Oh, of course, it's Mini Bomb L. Why would it be anything else? Ugh, like, come on. Come on, man. I can't get away.
This is gonna be clutch. Look at that, that was so quick. I mean, the fishy can't kill me. That's for sure. Or the shrimpy, I mean. Fishies don't exist anymore. We we killed them all in Battle Network 3. Oh, now as soon as I go for the charge shot. I'm better off going with something like this. But I need to heal up first. Still at full health. And I only lost about like 7 HP before I gained it all back. to Undernet 4. Let's see, where's the green? There's one there. Is there one up here? Nope. One down below. And we'll check the bug frag trader while we're down there. Speaking of bug fragments. Trap and ooh, a lot of Zenny. We could get two lock enemies now. That's very nice. The Freck Trader. <laughs> it's right there. Uh, we need one more. Uh, one more bug frag, and we could get air shoes. Let's see if we get it now. Nope. And I can't run. I need to reflect just to survive. There we go. Then I could stand here. We're rich! No! They don't take the US dollar! They take yen! Dang it! And what's the exchange rate? Oh no, I'm not rich anymore. Right, Molly? I know what you want. I know what you want, but you gotta blame the money. The money grinding. You gotta blame that. I'm almost done, though. I did say, I. Yeah. No, you're Molly, come on. Come on. No, no, come on. Stop. Stop. No, 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 that's enough. Down, 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 down. Where's the other green? Okay, there's two greens in here somewhere. Okay, one's up there. Molly, down. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Go right over here. Up and around. Can I get the kill? Probably not. 
but it's worth a shot. Yep, see, there it is. Can I run now? Okay, good. Green Mr. Data, Time Bomb K. It's not like I have plenty of those. And here we go. Another Time Bomb K! What a shock! Alright, well, uh, how much sub chips do I have? I'm not using these anymore. I could restock on untraps. And I need to buy two lock enemies. Okay. Yeah, I'll have plenty of money. So, I'm gonna buy the two lock enemies. I'm gonna restock on... Uh... On traps. There we go. Damn hockey players, exactly. And I think we're gonna we're gonna be calling that. We're gonna work more on this tomorrow. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore. They're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. In the meantime, if I feel like it, I probably should. But if I feel like it, I will do some of my own money money grinding. Because I'm going to need a lot. I'm going to need a lot. Because... Oh, let me swap it over. For, swap this over for one. So, like... I need a total of six, no, seven lock enemies. That's possible for me to do. And then all the extra money needs to be gone to uh, the Dark Souls, uh, the, the Dark Souls uh, Navi chips that I will be missing and Navi customizer parts. I should also try to do some bug frag grinding while I'm at it too. It's going to be a bit, but yeah. Gonna work more on that tomorrow. Have a good day. Later.